common core math faced with this problem, which I think I got it figured out. You got 160 kids. You have tables that seat 25 people. First of all, how many tables do you need for all those kids? That's seven tables. Because you got to use enough seating for 175 to feed up seat 160, right? Right. Then they throw this at you. How many pizzas do you buy those kids knowing that if you have a table of 10 kids, it's four pizzas for each kid to have an even share somehow. So that's a five to two ratio or 10 to four. All right, so if it's five to two, we've got 25 on each table. That is going to be That's where I get lost. No, that'll be, oh my God. See, five to two, or 10 to four. 20 would be eight pizzas. Oh, they're honking. Uh, then the other five would get two, so that's 10 pizzas on a table of 25. Somehow it makes sense, I don't know. This is common core, I can't figure it out. I told my kid in real life, everybody would chip in about five bucks. Pizzas are 10 bucks a piece, you get half a pizza. If there's any extra, whoever's hungry gets the rest. Nobody would care. I don't know, we're trying to figure it out. Comic Core. So how's your day? If it is 10 miles between here and Tacoma, Washington, and your cat is green, how many flapjacks does it take to launch a rocket ship? Common Core. You know what I say to all that? Let's go metal detect. Yeah. So I'm at the park where I was yesterday. I'm gonna try a different side of the park. Oh, well, did pretty good on Clyde yesterday. But once again, um, if it's astounding, I will put it on video. If it's not, I'll save it for the roundup. I'll spare you all the pennies I dig. All right, see you guys in a bit. All right, found something amazing. Got a ring. I think it's silver. I see a mark in there, but I can't read it. <clears throat> I'll tell you more later. I think it's cool, though. Skull and crossbones. Pirate metal detecting. Yeah. Alright, how about two rings today? Look at this thing. Never seen a ring like that. Pretty crusty. I'll clean it up. That's interesting. <laughs> well, you can't really tell it in here, but hunt's over. It's been an hour and a half. Um, I'll show you the, everything on the roundup. But hey, I got two rings. Okay. We'll look at them closer in the roundup after I clean them up. Okay. Bye. All right, everybody, quick roundup. Uh, we got four quarters and nickel, nine dime or nine pennies. Uh, that ring there, which unfortunately is not silver, it's plated. It's cool though. And then this ring here, which is kind of odd, but it's uh, kind of a brass. It's kind of weird. Definitely came up with brass. There's no uh, pitting on there from like it being pot metal. So there's a plating on there, but when I was cleaning it off with a toothbrush, this brassy color was coming out. So kind of interesting. So two rings. Yeah. Hard to do this one-handed. Oh well, there's one ring. Yep. That was the hunt. Thank you for watching. Good luck out there. Happy hunting.